Hi everyone, I'm David Brandon. I'm Sarah Lyons. This is Blavity News. To kick things off, civil rights activist DeRay McKesson and about 100 other protesters were arrested in Baton Rouge. Right before the arrest, DeRay tweeted how awful the police were being at the protest, saying, the protesters have been peaceful, the police have not. This is America. Yes, DeRay, this is America. Once McKesson begins to film an arrest of another protester, he is then arrested himself. In pictures and videos, he is seen being brought to his knees. Now, fortunately, he has since been released, and Twitter celebrated with hashtag DeRay release party. Dear DeRay McKesson, we appreciate you, we're grateful for you, and thankful, thank you for all the work that you're doing in the community. Yes, this also begs the question, what else can we do? Yeah. I say check out Campaign Zero, because they are dedicated to ending police violence through changing legislation. They've added a new interactive graphic on their site for visualizing these changes. It basically shows which states have proposed or already enacted legislation relevant to policies focusing on ending police violence. It also gives you information on how to contact your local representatives, see what they've voted on in the past, are these men and women that you want to stay in office, especially with elections coming up? Mm -hmm. So just stay updated with what's happening and what's being passed in your state. Check out joincampaignzero.org for more information. In lighter news, later this month, you'll be able to watch the political conventions right inside your Twitter feed. Twitter has been increasingly emphasizing the idea of live programming as it tries to differentiate itself from other social networks and boost its struggling stock price. Now, I like this idea and everything, but it seems more like something I'd see on Facebook, right? Facebook like, Live? Facebook Live? Like, <laughs> this is Facebook Live? I don't know. Good luck, Twitter. Get your stock up. And in case you missed it in the sports world, Serena Williams made history again with her seventh Wimbledon title. Okay, go girl. Nice. And also the U.S. women's gymnastics team was finalized. We've got five girls on the team, three women of color. So what does that mean? The minorities are making up the majority, okay? Hey. We've got Simone Biles. She's a three-time world champion. Gabby Douglas, she's a defending Olympic champion. And the youngest on the squad, we've got Latina Lori Hernandez. She's just 16, but she is fierce and ready to compete, okay? And to run out the team, we have Allie Raceman and Madison Kosian. Good luck, girls. They're definitely poised to win it all. Awesome. That's all we got today. I'm David Brandon. And I'm Sarah Lyons. Check out Blavity.com for more news.